Hey everyone, Sammy here, your host of the Digital Marketing Therapy Podcast. And today I wanted to just chat with you a little bit about why we decided to start a podcast and give you some thoughts and ideas on if podcasting is maybe the right avenue for your organization to go down or not. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. You know that podcasting is one of the things content wise that I love to do. And so I'm going to share with you why and um, hopefully it'll inspire you to start your own podcast. But before we get into it, this episode is brought to you by our free guide, Nine Ways for Nonprofits to Make More Money Online. And I hope you'll download this because Giving Tuesday is coming up. We're getting into the end of the year and it's really time to transition your organization into being online to reach those fundraising goals and to make the money that you need to sustain your organization and make the impact on your community that we all know you can. You do amazing work. So head on over to the firstclick.net forward slash fundraise and download the guide today. You're listening to the Digital Marketing Therapy Podcast. I'm your host, Sammy Bedell Mulhern, and each week I bring you tips from myself and other experts, as well as hot seats with small business owners and entrepreneurs to demystify digital marketing and get you on your way to generating more leads and growing your business. Okay, so I am a huge fan of creating consistent and regular content for your business, nonprofit organization, whatever. It doesn't matter. And I know we tend to think that industry, we don't, maybe we don't need to, and nobody's going to care about carpet cleaning or nobody's going to care about whatever. But for your website, creating consistent and regular content is going to be huge. And for your time saving, for your social media content, for your SEO, all of the things like content is huge. So it's all about deciding kind of which method of content you want to create. Um, Maybe you really like to write. And so blogging is no big thing. Um, Or maybe you love video and you have all of the things and the tools and the resources in order to create and edit video. And that's going to be the path to least resistance. So you do that. For me, podcasting is the thing that I love to do most. It's much easier for me to turn on the microphone and sit and just talk with you about some of these things that I feel are going to impact your business. And I love doing that. I love doing interviews. I know we haven't done interviews in a while, but you know, I learn a lot from the people that I bring on my podcast, um, just as much as you do. So it's great to kind of continue to grow and build my knowledge base through my podcast. Um, And so that's what we've chosen to do. So we've chosen to do a weekly podcast. There was a period of time where we were doing two episodes a week. And, you know, it just was one of those things where it just didn't make sense for us to do that anymore. So we don't do that anymore. Um, But here we are. We show up every week and we try to provide relevant and important content for you to help you grow in your business, especially in the online space. So there's a couple of reasons why also that podcasting is for me the better choice. Um, One of those is just the amount of platforms that you can put yours on. So we are currently on Spotify, Stitcher, um, iTunes, and I feel like there's one more and I'm totally spacing it. Um, But we, oh, Google Play, Google Play. And so with that, we get the opportunity to have our content pulled up by search on all of those different platforms. So we're automatically getting a little bit more exposure, getting a little bit more access and people can find us on those platforms. Um, Going into 2021, we're probably going to be adding some more like iHeartRadio and things like that. Um, So that's on the horizon for us, but it's an opportunity for people to find us in search. And Then the other thing I like about it is um, we can create transcripts. So now I'm creating a platform that allows for people to engage with us in multiple ways. So you can listen if that's something that you enjoy, or you can read it if that's something you enjoy. So multiple ways for people to engage with us, which I think is great. Sidebar, if you are a blogger and you really like to blog, you can also just audio record yourself reading it and add that to your website. Or there's platforms like Amazon Polly that will do that for you to create that multifaceted experience for the people that are landing on your website. Just a little tip. 
Um, so yeah, it's great. And I now automatically have a blog and a podcast, right? Cause I have the audio player on my website. I have some show notes, some resources. I have some quick ways for you to find the information that you need if you don't want to listen to the whole thing. And then I have the full transcript. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, um, which I really like. And you could do the same if you have a YouTube video, embed the YouTube video on your website, add the transcripts, additional resources, yada, yada, yada. And now you have video, audio, and all of the, all of the things. So that's a really great thing to do. Um, but like I said, with podcasting, it's just something that's much more natural, easy for me to do. It's definitely been a little bit harder to find the time to record quietly, uh, with COVID and everyone being home, but we've made it work and I really enjoy it. And then I want to share one thing, um, too as well. So once your podcast is recorded, it's out on these platforms and people can listen to it forever. And depending on your niche and what you do, um, you can still get a lot of activity and traction with your podcast, even if you're not recording new episodes. So, um, my daughter and I, for example, have a podcast called conversations with my daughter. Um, we had not recorded an episode since November of last year. And, um, we just started recording them again because I was looking at the stats and because she has such a niche topic and we're talking to families and parents, she's consistently getting downloads, even though we haven't been published new episodes. So we're bringing it back and we're going to see what happens with that. Um, but it's just a great way for people to find your content on an ongoing basis. We have another client in the hemp space that does, um, had a podcast and again, we're hoping to bring theirs back as well. Um, but we get consistent feedback from people and there's consistent downloads, even though there hasn't been a new episode in quite some time. So it's all about the quality of the topics that you're talking about, how you present that information. Um, and it's evergreen and things that people can listen to, um, over and over and over again, or at whatever stage they are in their business or what, what have you. So, um, that's another thing that I really love about, about the podcast and, and the, um, opportunity for people to go back and listen to previous episodes and maximize on the time and effort that you put into it. There's lots of ways that you can monetize a podcast. I'm not really going to get into those right now. We haven't gone down those avenues, obviously like sponsorship and Patreon accounts and things of that nature. I can link up some of those things in the show notes so that you can kind of figure out what that experience looks like for your listeners. Um, But I mostly want to inspire you in this episode to create regular content for your organization, whether you are a one person shop or a 50 person shop. It is something that is going to help your business grow and help you answer questions, help you save time. Um, How can, you know, when people are calling in and they want more information about XYZ, if you can just say, hey, I've got this great podcast, take a listen to this and let me know if you have any questions. Like that saves you a ton of time and energy um, and just makes you a much stronger leader in your industry and makes people trust you more. I, I don't know, maybe it's different, but hearing my voice and hearing me talk to you, hearing me in your earbuds or whatever, um, probably builds more trust and authenticity than if you were just reading my words. Cause now I'm a real human who's here talking to you. Um, I'm somebody with emotion and, um, you know, I'm genuine and I'm here, you know, spending my time trying to and helping and hoping to educate you on things that you feel you want support with. And podcasts are great for that. So these are just some of the reasons why we've chosen to do podcasting. And um, I really love it as a platform. It's super easy to do for the most part. Just a little bit of editing. Um, The show notes and things like that are probably the most time consuming part, but anybody can do it. You can do it. Turn on your mic, start recording, start sharing your message, start inspiring people, start educating people, start raising more money for your company, your organization, start getting more customers and podcasting can really help you with all of that. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that that was helpful. Um, and I really hope that you'll subscribe to this podcast anywhere you listen and, um, let us know if you have a podcast, I'd love to check it out, but for now I'll see you in the next one.